it is officially time to see five seconds of summer and i'm really excited so i thought that i would vlog today um i am gonna use my phone because i have vip sound check expensive tickets and i don't want to risk bringing my camera and then them saying like oh well you can't use this and taking it away from me or me having to go back out to my car or something because they're doing like a number system for sound check it sounds like i don't know so i just don't want to risk it i'm just gonna bring my phone camera and film in like the cinematic mode or whatever the whole time and hope that it looks good because anytime i transfer my phone footage to my computer to edit, I feel like the quality is not as good as it should be. And I've tried some different things. I feel like I've gotten it a little bit better, but it's still kind of like all over the place. So if anybody has any recommendations, let me know. I do use an iPhone, but I use a um, Windows computer to edit. So I'm going to do my hair now. Um, hope that it sticks. I'm thinking because I have the shorter hair now, um to do like maybe like two little like space buns i don't really know so i'm gonna do my hair um i have lunch with my grandma and then i'm gonna come back and get changed and we're gonna go because it's supposed to be check-in is between 2 30 to 5 so i don't know but yeah we're going to get ready in terms of my hair and stuff now i'm gonna do my makeup i guess when i get home Okay, so this is what the hair looks like right now. I don't know if I'm going to curl it or straighten it or anything, but this is pretty much my go-to hairstyle. Two cute little, like, top ponytails and have my little bangs hang out in the front. And since it's outside, it's going to be hot. I don't think I really want to mess with straightening or curling my hair. So this is kind of what the vibe is. My top and outfit is going to be black, so I use my little black butterflies. And I think I might do like a glittery eye or something because that's what Luke Hemmings does and my top is very Luke Hemmings, but Callum is my man's, but I really like Luke's style the best out of the band, so I usually try and dress like Luke or similar to Luke um, when I go and see them live. So I have a cute little striped glittery black flowy top that I'm going to wear um, with some like little underneath, you know? Um, so I think I'm gonna do like a glittery eye or something. So I sold some things on Mercari. So I'm gonna package those up really quickly. I sold my extra Bright Bat pin um, from the Haunted House series that I opened up, which that video may or may not be up, I don't know. And I also sold the Steve Urkel Funko Pop Chase that I found at Books A Million. I mean, bubble wrap doesn't weigh too, too much. It's the bridge. It's been a while since I filmed a like vlog, but I know that some people have been commenting that they want me to vlog more. So I figured I would do this as kind of like a day in the life, but also like what the sound check experience is like and the lounge. Um, because I am so excited. I've never ever done a lounge before. It kind of seems all over the place though, because the itinerary is ridiculous. Like they intentionally try not to give you enough time to do everything is what it seems like I don't, I don't really know i don't really like it hopefully it works out um but i have the itinerary which they've changed twice now because originally it said i was supposed to check in between 2 30 to 5 30 like check in so just get into the venue as of yesterday at 7 p.m I got an email that says there's a time update and now check-in is between 4 to 5 30. we packaged both of our packages so i can drop those off and get that money sometime next week hopefully i'm also gonna have to upload all this footage to my um computer before i leave but you guys i needed to show you this is the first time I ever saw Five Sauce. August 21st, 2015. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. This is the fit for lunch with grandma with my cute little cheap Target sneaks. These were like 
five dollars and they're like dad sneakers but i absolutely love them and obviously i'm going to be wearing a fire sauce top and these are pants that i bought for work because we have to dress like business professional but i actually love these pants and i think that they look really cute with this top oh you guys i found this cute cup at the store called like francesca's or something look at it it says fuck off three hours later playing it. It's good. The pot sticker is really good and it has like a sauce on it. I don't know what this is.
disgusting, but we're back home. I am putting my bag of goodies in my office here, and we will revisit that tomorrow. I have to package up a trade thing that I'm doing because I have to ship it tomorrow. So I have to package that tonight before I go to bed. So I'm going to get unready and get my PJs on, eat some leftover fried mushrooms and potato teasers with some honey mustard and go to bed. Several days later. All right, so it is several, several, several days later. And I mean like almost, um, almost a month. I wanted to talk a little bit about the VIP experience aspect of it. I have done VIP for several different bands a few times. Um, it is always a little bit different than the other. I have done VIP for Five Sauce before, and when I did that, it was in 2015, so definitely a different time. There were two VIP packages, which I had no idea what I was buying, honestly. I went on the website, and they weren't even supposed to be up yet. They were supposed to be up the next day, and I saw that the VIP packages were up and I wanted second row really bad again and the only way that I was gonna like be able to achieve that it seemed like was with the VIP so I splurged and bought the VIP they were the most expensive concert tickets I have ever bought in my entire life so there were two different VIP packages the one that I bought and then there was just the early entry sound check bundle so with that one you just got early entry into the venue like early access to the merch and you got to do the sound check. That was pretty much it. Um, so I got to do all that. The people that asked questions were, there was an email blast sent out. They asked you like what question you want to ask. You filled out this form and submitted it. And then if you got picked, they had you at the venue with like your written question out and they let you introduce yourself and ask your question, which I thought was super cool. It wasn't like they picked the questions and just like had them like in a fishbowl or something and gave them to you know the boys to read like the people still got to ask their questions so I thought that that was super awesome. Um, it was kind of awkward because we were like in the pit they were smushing everybody into the pit and there was over 400 of us for sound check and I could not do it because the pit was so small and I didn't want pit anyway so I went up to one of the people because some people were sitting in the actual like seats and I said, can I please, like, can we sit down? Like, I don't want to be in the pit. They said, yeah, sure, pick any spot, you know, within this section. So we sat. And then, of course, the people that were doing Q&A were directly behind us. So here I am, a frizzed up hair mess. Probably looks like I did it on purpose for, like, attention or something. But I promise you... Nobody from Five Sauce paid any lick of attention to me. Like, not that I was trying anyway, but like, I mean, I'm pretty confident that they didn't really care that I was there, but I was like right here, and then the question people were like right here. So then once it got to a certain person, because I'm like standing like this to look at the people asking questions. So once it got to a certain point, like we just started to like slide over because we didn't want to be standing in front of them while they were trying to talk to the boys and stuff. So we had to like keep sliding over as people were asking questions. Was super awkward. I did not know that that's what was happening. Otherwise, we wouldn't have sat there. So that was fun. I probably looked like a crazy person. The people that were just that got escorted back to go like near the merch stand and stuff and like wait. And then the other people got taken to this like lounge area, which was like way deep in. And there was cornhole, there was Jenga, there was like Street Fighter little machines that were all decked out to look like five sauce. Catering, which was like little dumplings and little like adurves and like veggies, like a veggie tray. Nothing too, too crazy. It was like a very little, little, like it wasn't like a meal. And then you got like a drink token that you could use, which we didn't use ours, so I still have them because they're little like guitar picks and I wanted to keep them. So like that was included, was that you were allowed to get a drink like in the price, but if you wanted to get the free drink, you had to turn in the token. They had like a little display from like memorabilia from the different tours or eras or whatever with the boys that was like out there which was super cool to see. There was a photo booth, which we did. Um, it was kind of hectic. And then you got an autographed poster. And I think only the lounge people got this. I don't think the regular VIP got this. I didn't even know that this was a thing. 
but um, we got posters and then which ours looked like tickets which I really liked and they were iridescent and they say VIP and then on this side they say lounge and if you weren't this it was like a diamond shape and it just said VIP a signed poster and then there's like videos like Ashton live streams when he's signing these on Instagram which I think is super funny so it is a orange guitar pick and it says five seconds of summer and then on the side it says one drink these were our wristbands which I thought was really cool that they were actually like custom and said five sauce and had the picture and stuff on it because I have never seen that before but it says five seconds of summer show and it has the band and it's green so I kept these and then it was a number system that they honored for sound check so we actually had to stand in order wasn't like bad or anything I don't know that I would do it like again I just don't think that it was anything too crazy the sound check was very minimal um and it was nice to like have food though like to eat and stuff and just be able to go up and get as much as we wanted so we ate like a bunch of veggies the pot stickers were really yummy but I still had a good time I didn't have any sort of like bad experience or anything the people thought that we were gonna steal stuff so that was kind of weird but I was just getting a picture of the records on the tables because I wanted to order one so I had one ordered and made and then on the base I put the tour name and then the concert date the merch that I did buy I got the tote bag because I've been wanting a tote bag for thrifting or for records and I thought that this was cute it is see-through it's not like the most amazing material or anything and it's just a mouth the exclusive show poster so it says Cuyahoga Falls Ohio August 25th 2023 and it says the five seconds of summer show this is limited to 150 and I got number 30 I have my um Cleveland one which I think is amazing so I wanted this one because I have my Cleveland one still long sleeve little like crew neck because it's olive colored my favorite color it says five seconds of summer and then on the back it says the five seconds of summer show and then it has all of the tour dates and locations and then for a shirt which I wish I would have got a larger size this is a medium and I feel like it is so small and it is not gonna fit me but it just says the five seconds of summer show and then on the back it says five seconds of summer and it has them and all the tour dates but yeah this is a medium y'all and I feel like it's gonna fit me but it's gonna be really tight and that was originally all that I got but then when we did sound check Callum was wearing a piece of merch and I was like I have to go and buy that the orange hoodie that says five seconds of summer and then on the back very similarly it says the five seconds of summer show and it has all the dates and everything blah 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 um so I had to go uh, and get in line after everything and buy this because Callum had it so it was so good seeing them the show was phenomenal um I liked their energy I liked their little bits that they did I liked the set list I wish that they would have played voodoo doll but it's fine but I had a great time I got to like live out my best life and see them again I was supposed to see them on the no shame tour which turned into the take my hand tour which I didn't get to go on because there were no dates near me but I was supposed to go to the no shame tour in Texas I was gonna go to three shows I think it was crazy but then COVID happened so it was just a lot of built-up wanting to see them and obviously they're my favorite band they have the most sentimental value to me so I had a really good time let me know if you guys are going to see five sauce or if you did see five sauce by the time this is up the tour might be over because I'm slacking um sorry if I rambled but I love you guys I'll see you again very very soon peace out girl scouts